And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first expedition of the week. It is Tuesday. That's right. That means it's a new week with Legends of Runeterra. We got our vault earlier and I actually opened up a champion wild card in one of the diamond chests. That was pretty awesome. The uh, usually get like one epic and that epic was upgraded to a champion wild card. Um, maybe you don't always get an epic. Maybe you just get a rare. But anyway. Yeah, so that was a that was a pretty nice upgrade, but it, but of course uh, with the new uh, week our adventure or our expeditions reset, we get the prizes from the expeditions again, and so uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays we're doing our uh, draft, and so we're going to embark, and of course we got the token to do one from the vault. So here we go. So like with the draft, you know you get the two you get you know two drafts, and so we'll do uh, for the price of one. So we'll, and you, they get take the uh the trial with the better record so we're gonna start trial number one now okay so our options champion wise we can start with zed which is definitely a good card to start with jewel protector is really good um and St spirits refuge is a good good trick like, this is just a, a good bucket here with the discipline we could go battle scars with brahm um, which I'm not a, a huge fan of, honestly. I like Braum, but like this whole uh, survive damage, uh, you know, bit is is a little bit underpowered. Or we could go Teemo, which is of course the most fun way, and Chump Wump is works perfectly with Teemo, one of the best cards you can get. And then Back Alley Barkeep, getting a whole bunch of Back Alley Barkeeps is really powerful too. So like this is actually a really good Teemo bucket, uh, two good cards to go with Teemo. But we've been, we have been playing a whole bunch of Teemo stuff recently, and uh, I kind of feel like going with with this bucket. Like these these are this is the most like this is the best option of the three, and so it's like best most fun. I'm gonna go with the best for today. We didn't have like the like the last time we did expeditions, we didn't do real great. I'm gonna go with the the best one here and and try to uh, get the seven wins. Yeah, Zed's such a powerhouse, and Jewel Protector with the upgrade is really nice. Okay, so now we got three three good options again. Um, Lux, very good, and Sergeant Prismatic Barrier. Like these cards work pretty well with Ionia. Ionia and Demacia work pretty well together. You get like your you're you know try to go with like evasive units. You have the barriers to protect them. Um, so that's a good option. Um, we could go, you know, uh, this, uh, going Shadow Isles with Elise with Spiders, Prankster, Hapless Aristocrat, we're really not going to be blocking too much. We're going to be real bit aggressive, um, low to the ground, stuff like that. I don't think I really want to do that. It seems, I think we can get a little bit more power. And then the other option is Trindamir, um, and we get a Brittle Steel and a, a Mighty Poro along with it. So three mana, three, three, and a an okay trick. Trindamir is a bomb. Eight mana, eight four overwhelm, which is trample. And uh oh I don't know I don't know anything about the new patch, honestly, King of Heart. I actually don't know anything about the new patch. Um and then uh but whenever whenever it dies it turns into the nine nine Overwhelm fearsome. Trindamir is just such a bomb. Basically, every time I played against Trindamir, there's probably exceptions, but for the most part, every time I play against Trindamir, I lose. Every time I play Trindamir, I win. Like this card is just such a bomb. I'm gonna be taking it. And Freljord and Ionia work well together, as we've seen with uh Inconstructed. Sorry, I had to sneeze. So I'm gonna take the bomb. All right, we got Averrosen Hearthguard. Yes, please. And Mighty Poro. Double Will of Ionia, so double Unsummon. Or double Alpha Wildclaw, which is a good, powerful, overwhelmed creature. Huh. It's kind of weird they got those doubling up. They got two doubled up. Okay, just some of the animations have been sped up and your drawing cards has been sped up. I heard that those, those kind of things were going to happen before... 
Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have the votes in here. Y'all y'all get to vote. I almost forgot about that. So I don't know if are y'all voting on here? Okay. Uh only one person did a vote thing. But yeah, you, you can vote on here too and I'll if I have one that I'm not sure about, I'll be checking the you know, I'll you know be checking the votes, but yeah, you, know, you can you can choose which one you want. Um my favorite card out of all these is the Hearth Guard. I absolutely love Averose and Hearth Guard. Um, my least favorite card is Mighty Poro out of all these. Um, Wild Claw is a lot better than Mighty Poro, but is it better to have two Wild Claws? Okay. Mighty Poro is not anything special, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I like it. We got votes here. One, one, one. Um, I think so. I think I want to just take the card that I really like with the Hearth Guard, but double Wild Claws actually. Oh man, I kind of want to go with the like the Wild Claws are really powerful. Like they can take over game seven six trample. I should probably just do that because this Mighty Poro is not very good. All right, we're gonna take the Wild Claws. That's something I wouldn't normally be taking. All right, so Demos and Steel. I want to stick with my regions that I have. Yeah, Wild Claws win games, so I should just take them. Um, okay, so we have Entreat, two mana, draw champion. So, like, it's two mana, you draw Zed or Trindamir, you know, at random. If you have if you have one in your hand, you draw the other. If you've drawn both, then this card does nothing. But they who endure, six mana, when I'm summoned, grant me plus one, plus one for each ally that, that has died. And so this can be, you know, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, you know, bigger. Um, overwhelm creature another great card or we get these kind of pretty average cards I'm just going to go with the they who endure it, that card seems too good alright so now we got our we're basically already drafting our top end so it's so now we can kind of focus on getting um, you know getting lower end stuff all right, Omen Hawk is wonderful. I will take as many Omen Hawks as I can get. Um, Stalking Wolf is also very good, but not. I mean, but it's it's good, but maybe not Omen Hawk good. Lonely Poro, it's mediocre. Battle Fury can just win games. Grant an ally plus eight plus four. Especially we have these overwhelmed creatures, <laughs> so we have them with the trample, and that's a permanent plus eight plus four. So I I want. I want that huge trick, and I'm going to take the Omen Hawk. All right, now it looks like we get some Ionia stuff. Uh, Shadow Fiend, I don't really want. Sparring Student's good. Greenglade Caretaker, I don't really want. Herald of Spring, I don't really want. I mean, the best cards here are Single Combat Radiant Guardian. That's the that's the best cards, but then that's... That's a different area. So we'd have three regions. I've never gone with the three regions before. Yeah, any silence effects in the games? Yeah, there's... Demacia has a two-mana card called Purify that that gets rid of all text on a follower, not on a champion. So if it's gotten any pumps, it gets rid of all the pumps. You know, basically gets gets rid of all of, like, the... You know, if you think about magic, like, plus one, plus one counters and stuff like that. And any, like, text that it has on the card, gone. So, like, if it has, if it has elusive, not anymore, and so on. It's a pretty powerful card. So, yeah, I think the uh, options between one of these two, because I think Shadow Fiend is just much, much worse than anything else we have. But this, basically, I guess I have to take, I guess we're going three regions. We've never gone three regions before. I guess this is it. Because these two buckets are just both really, really weak. So I guess we're going to go three regions. Ugh, I don't I don't love it. I don't love it. This is my first time doing it. All right. Take heart. Grant an ally plus three. A damaged ally plus three plus three. And Laurent Protege. Those two work really well together. Another Battle Fury and a Yeti Yearling. I, I don't really want another Battle Fury, 
But I do like Yeti Yearling. I think this is an underrated card. Uh, one mana, one, two, can trade with some stuff. Um, but then shuffle two and rage Yeti into the deck. So, like, basically, you'll just have two one mana five fives in the deck. Um, I think that's a pretty good card. I really don't want a second Entreat. I guess I would rather have a second Battle Fury over a second Entreat. And Stalking Wolf is still pretty good. Still pretty good. Um... It's a tough, tough pick. This is a tough pick. Looks like the votes so far are going over here to the suit up, the take heart, and Laurent protege. Take heart could be pretty good with our deck because we have such big creatures that they'll they'll probably need to like take damage twice. You know, like our wild claw, they'll like you know block and it'll have some damage on it. Then they'll try to kill it afterwards. So yeah, I guess all right. I'm I'm in there. I don't I don't love this whole regent thing that we got going on, but oh well. All right, another take heart and a stalking wolf. That's not bad. A starlet seer and a harsh winds. That's not bad either. And a blade scout and a highwayman. Hmm. Okay. These are all. These are all pretty similar i don't think there's like necessarily a bad choice but there's not one that that really stands out harsh winds can be a blowout um starlet's here so whenever we cast a spell grant the top ally in our deck plus one plus one um you know we have we have a decent amount of spells we got six spells right now yeah challenger is very powerful and so the stalking wolf is that, but of course they get the wolf gives them a bunny. No. Bunny, watch out. Wolf or hare, winter mix, prey of us all. Um Are we gonna be casting a lot of spells? Like maybe. This is just a pretty fine two drop anyway, even if you don't, like it still just kind of trades, but it has pretty high upside. Harsh Winds has complete blowout potential. So I guess let's let's go here, the seer and the harsh winds. Omen Hawk. Do love Omen Hawk. And then Silverwing Scout. Uh, don't love Silverwing Scout. Another Harsh Winds and another Wild Claw. I don't know. We we got a lot of sixes right now. I kinda wanna go lower stuff, but or Jewel Protector and Shadow Shift. I like Jewel Protector. I wish I could have Omen Hawk and Jewel Protector. That would be ideal. I don't really like Shadow Shift. But I do like Protector and I do like Hawk. And like these, these like this is the most powerful one right here, Wild Claw Harsh Winds. But I already have two Wild Claws and one Harsh Wind, so it's like it's like you don't want just your whole deck, those things, and you know, we besides Harsh Winds, we have Battle Fury, so we have two very expensive tricks, like combat tricks. Looks like everybody's voting for the first group. All right, so we'll we'll go Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk. All right, a bunch of Vanguard Squires. Nope. Ritual of Renewal and Shadow Assassin. Well, Shadow Assassin is awesome. Ritual of Renewal, not so much. So one awesome card, one not awesome card. Omen Hawk, awesome. Tall Tales, not awesome at all. <laughs> wow. All right, so we have two crappy cards, so we don't want that. One, one good, one bad, and one good, one bad. <laughs> Could have they just made it easy? Gave us the Omen Hawk and the Assassin. So right now we have Protege, Mighty Poro, and Zed for our three mana slots. How are we doing on Yetis? We have no Yetis. Man, see, I like Omen Hawk more than Shadow Assassin, but Tall Tales is just pretty unplayable. Basically, it's three mana. Your next card you draw is a one mana 5-5. Five five. So it's kind of like you're spending four mana for a 5-5, five five, but then it's also card disadvantage. Because then it also 
takes out a card. That's just not, yeah. I like Omen Hawk more than Shadow Assassin, probably, but yeah, Tall Tales is just so bad. So I guess we're doing this one. <laughs> yeah, people are voting for the middle column also. What are you doing, puppy? Puppy's just rolling around on the carpet. Like, oh, new carpet smell. All right, well, I guess we'll do this one. Okay. Laurent Protégé is pretty good. Mighty Poro, average. So good and average. Two two more three drops. Icefield Archer is very good. Catalyst of Aeons, pretty bad. So Protégé and Archer are probably about the same level of good. Poro is better than Catalyst of Aeons. So I guess the first one's better than the second. And then we have Inspiring Mentor, which is pretty good. Um, and Navori Blade Scout, also pretty good. So like we, it's so like these are, I probably rank them like card wise, Protege one, Archer two, Mentor three, Blade Scout four, Poro five, Catalyst of Aeon six. I think th like those, these six are pretty easy to rank. Um, so do we want one and five or three and four or two and six? Well, definitely not two and six. It's basically one, five, three, four. I am set, yeah, settling in very well, J Jack. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I got stuff to do every day, um, you know, with unpacking and cleaning and everything like that. Um, so I've been, you know, I've been busy for you know, the last couple of weeks now. But, but yeah, it's you know, it's a, it's just a, a slow process. But yeah, I'm settling in very nicely. All right, votes are split half and half with these two. So the reason why I kind of like this one better is it's two ones instead of two threes. I do you like having more ones instead of threes, especially when we have our expensive top end? It's nice that like turn four we can play like one of these three drops and a one drop, you know, like you can kind of just fit in the one drop somewhere. Yeah, hit button, hit buttons kind of has a good point though. I have, I think I, I think one thing that I've been struggling a little bit more with in expeditions is that I have been valuing ones and twos a little bit too much. And then I haven't had powerful enough decks to win late games and hit button says the one costs are not really that important in expeditions and that that could be the thing that like maybe these just aren't powerful enough uh to be worth the cards and we should be going with the threes instead yeah i like ice field too but yeah catalyst is just like uh i don't want to take that card and protege is very good too i think we'll, i think we'll just take the protege because that is a very good card all right so we'll take the one and five over the three and four <clears throat> All right, we got River Shaper and Zephyr Sage. Um, I've actually been pretty impressed with Zephyr. Like, Zephyr Sage, 6 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Whenever you play it, you create an exact copy of a card in hand. It's the kind of card that, on its face, doesn't look that great, but it's actually it actually plays pretty well. Like, whenever I've had it in Expeditions, it's been pretty powerful. Because, uh, you know, it's 6 mana, 4-4, four, four, draw a card. You draw the, the best card in your hand, basically. Um, down, 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 down. Uh, we have, yeah, so then, so then, uh, otherwise, River Shaper, three mana, two, one. Um, you know, whenever you, uh, strike draw a spell so anytime you know anytime it, it attacks blocks anything like that draw a spell so basically it's going to be three mana two one draw card because it's not surviving and in constructed river shaper is better because you can just uh, line your de deck up with a bunch of barriers we have a couple of barriers but i guess just one we don't have i thought we had the three mana pr prismatic barrier do we not have that i thought we had that 
I'm not seeing it. Anyway, yeah, we got a Bull Elnuk. Bull Elnuk's pretty strong. Four mana, four, five. Um, and a Take Heart. We've been talking about how we have the bigger creatures where Take Heart could, could maybe be good. Um, I do like Take Heart more since we have Protege. Take Heart with Protege is awesome. We got two Proteges. So I like that middle one. And then four Demacia, Vanguard Defender. Nah. Four, four Demacia is the kind of thing that can definitely win games. We already got a bunch of cards like that. All right, y'all like the Elnucks? Yeah, everybody's voting for the Elnuck. Okay. We'll take the Elnuck. All right, so we got a Standalone and a Plucky Poro. Standalone's pretty good. Plucky Poro, not playable. So that ends that. Icy Yeti, which is pretty good. It's just fine. Callus of Aeons, not really playable. And then we have Lonely Poro and Tall Tales. Dang, that's really not playable. Oh, man. These are not good options. <laughs> well, the third option is basically not not even... That's not even an option. So I guess we're at the first two. Ugh. Man, Plucky Poro is so bad. I guess Catalyst of Aeons. <laughs> I guess we get Catalyst of Aeons. Ugh. Not really something that I want, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess we get Catalyst of Aeons. We'll try to trade it away. But these are really bad picks. Yeah, I guess you could standalone Zed turn three. That would be pretty nice. But Plucky Poro is so bad. Hmm. Most people are voting for this one over here. Just take the standalone. Because, I mean, we could have some decent turn threes with standalone, with Protege standalone and Zed standalone. And then try to trade away Plucky Poro. Either way, we're going to try to trade away the card. And I guess I guess standalone is probably better than Icy Yeti. Especially for the... Yeah, I mean, I guess... Okay, so I could see taking this one. Because standalone probably is better than Icy Yeti. And while Catalyst of Aeons is definitely better than Plucky Poro, either way, the card's bad and we're going to try to trade it away. All right, we'll take the standalone. Um, all right, our last pick. Secession and Vanguard Sergeant. It's really not bad. You know, because you can play this on turn two as a two mana three three. But Vanguard Sergeant's a three mana three three that draws a card and it draws you uh, a four Demacia, which is a good rare to have. Kinku Lifeblade and Sown Seeds. These don't really... We don't, we're not really a Kinku Lifeblade deck. I don't love Sown Seeds either, so I don't really like that pick too much. Or this one, Blade Keeper is a really good four drop, especially with these threes, especially with, um, you know, again, with Laurent Protege and Zed. Like, those are good cards to Blade Keeper, even, even like a Shadow Assassin. And then Bright Steel Protector is a pretty good two drop. So I think, I think we're going to take this two and four. Yeah. All right, trading away. Okay. This is a good trade. It's good trades. We have our two worst cards, our Ritual of Renewal and Plucky Poro. So we get to trade one of these two away. We can either trade away Ritual of Renewal for a Brittle Steel or Poro for an Elixir of Iron, which both of those are pretty good. Steel and Elixir of Iron are both good one-mana tricks. So I like both of those trades. Um, you know, we don't, don't really have to worry about this, this one because we got to do one of these two. Uh, they are the worst two cards, so that, that is good. Good trades. They're both... They're both unplayable-ish. I think Elixir of Iron... I think we take this one. And just keep Ritual of Renewal, I guess, for now. I wish we could do them both. I really want to do both trades. 
Oh, everybody's voting for Blucky too, looking at the votes. All right. See, we have to protect Plucky Poro, right? Like we can't we can't let Plucky Poro go into combat. Oh, did the, is the update just happening right now? Yeah, exactly. We can't let Plucky Poro die. Checking for updates. Do you have a link to the update hit button? Like, what it says about it? Oh, here we go. It's up here. Yeah, protect all the Poros. No, I don't think we'll have to redo the deck. Okay, so the game plays a lot faster now. All right. I didn't think it was very slow before. But yeah, we'll see how how it is now. I thought the drawing thing was a little slow. Uh, there's more boards and guardians. <laughs> I should probably invest in and purchase these things. Being a content creator, so I can have more boards and card or more boards and guardians and stuff, and make the game a little more fun. <laughs> well, Plucky Poro is not going to die now because we took Plucky Poro out of the deck. Had to do that. Make sure. Make sure it stayed safe. Sounds pretty good. So I don't do anything turn one or turn two. Ooh, Zed. I was thinking Mighty Poro standalone. Now it's a six six overwhelm, and then the next turn I can barrier it with life steal. But I guess we have Zed standalone. Oh wow, yeah, that was faster. Wow. Yeah, that's it's faster. Good job, Poro. My skill is unrivaled. <laughs> Look how happy the Poro is. Now we have Spirit's Refuge on the Zed. I am the blade in the darkness. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. <clears throat> Attack. You call that sneaky? Hmm. I guess I refuge it, right? If I don't. I can just play a Radiant Guardian. I probably should. Do not 
Clear the shrouded path. No. Mazer. Man, we may lose this. It looked like we had this one for sure. Yeah, G yeah, that game did change very quickly. I mean, that's still lethal if they don't have it. They if they don't have another trick. Oh, come on. I guess they have another trick. Yeah. No. I. I. Yeah. Obviously. Depending on the Z, cost me the game. Obviously, I, I, the the choice was just the better for how how this game played out. For all the stuff that they had, the better play would have been to let it die and get the Radiant Guardian in play. But wasn't the option that I went with at the time. Great hand, the opponent. Oh, I guess I guess I missed that. You're saying that I had an out to take heart and battle fury. Oh, I, I guess I missed that. I didn't realize I had the mana to do both. The ten two make it have nine toughness. Four seven, yeah. Ugh. All right. Oh, and one. Yeah, they really have sped everything up, haven't they? Elden. It's like it's kind of disorienting playing this for the first time. Everything going so fast. You need to get used to it. So the problem with playing the Omen Hawk turn one is that I don't get Protege Take Heart turn three. Path. 
I wonder if going all in on this Zed's gonna work. Like, so next turn I'll have six mana, and I can uh, do take heart and standalone and get this thing plus three plus three twice and have two ten nines. I am a true master. It has to take damage to be able to have the take heart. They're both burst spells. It's possible if they if they don't have a removal spell here and if they don't have another creature to two mana creature, it's possible we just have lethal next turn. Well, so this thing has to have damage for take heart. Uh, that black spear. I think it was worth going, you know, going for the win and making that block. I don't, I don't regret it. If they didn't have Black Spear, they didn't have a, a two drop. Um, you know, we could have had Lethal the next turn. Do I need to keep up the Spirit's Refuge? So option is just play Take Heart, keep up Spirit's, Spirit's Refuge, or just play Wild Claw. And not have Refuge available. We'll go Wild Claw. Wild Claw is pretty big too. Alright, opponent surrendered. Our deck seems pretty good. I think our deck's pretty good. It's always good to get the win where you reset the, you know, like how you, you have to lose two in a row to, to get eliminated. It feels good to be able to reset that. And wow, these are all good options. I guess the Z one is a little bit lower. I don't love the life blade, but I don't know. We have like these cards that look pretty good at pumping stuff but Trindamir Trindamir obviously is just an, a huge bomb but then you get Blade Keeper and Duelist like that's not bad Fiora also a good strong card and then you get Radiant Guardian and a Battle Fury like <laughs> how am I supposed to pick one of these they're they're nice uh but even like this one's not bad, but I mean, I, I think these two are probably just just better. Um, well, so what are y'all voting? Oh, yeah. So what do y'all think? So like, whew, this is tough. I think I like Trindamir more than Fiora, but I like Radiant Guardian more than. Oh man, I don't know. And then you get Battle Fury, but Trindamir is just such a bomb. Yeah, Trindamir is just you play, you win. So I guess we should probably go Trindamir. But this is really enticing. But that is true. You play Trindamir, you win. People don't really beat Trindamir. 
And it's not like these are no slouches either, Blade Keeper and Duelist. Those are no slouches, with, especially with the cards that we have. All right. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll go this this route. Yeah, I think our expedition our expedition deck is pretty awesome. I think I got kind of flustered with how fast everything was going the first game. Ezreal Karma. This could be tough. Ezreal Karma, that, that has a lot of potential. Do I shuffle Trindamir back right now because we don't need it for another seven turns? I guess so. Even though I really want it in seven turns. But we got two of them. Hey, look at that. It worked out. I'm on it. Wow, did you see that? Yeah, exactly. We still had two in the deck, so it wasn't it was still pretty likely that we'd find another one by turn eight, anyway. We're getting all of our creatures, none of our spells, which this is the kind of hand that could lose. While we have a curve, three, four, five, six, and so on, um, if we don't really have interaction, and we could lose. Break their spirit and their sword. Run! Did that sound right? I just have one mana. Nailed it. Hmm. You call this a oh, fair. Sweet. Well, one Ezreal's down. How can I help? I learned that in class. <laughs> that thing has a barrier? It's kind of a waste of the barrier card. Alright, Blade Keeper or Elnuk? I'm gonna go Elnuk. Avalanche? No. Can't have Avalanche. Mystic Shot? Get excited. My 4-5 was going to die. Um, wow, that's so fast. Just like we practiced. Could have... Um, could have just let it die and then, you know, play like another, another creature, but... to go ahead and use that single combat battle fury only I can quell the wind doesn't oh, I don't have enough mana no um 
I was going to say, doesn't Trindamir then Battle Fury mean you win? Uh, hmm. So I can play one thing this turn. The blade above all. I'm glad I didn't use this battle fear yet. It's just so enticing to Jewel Protector this thing first. I could have Jewel Protectored and played the Protege again. It's very enti It's very, very enticing to do that. I'm on it. Make this thing an eleven-seven. Have twelve mana. I can play a four drop and still have Battle Fury up. Okay. The old I have too many good stuff, too much, too many good cards in hand. And how do I want to win this? Because basically any choice I make would help me win. Ooh, get rid of the Mighty Poro for another Take Heart? I like that. I think I think that's the one I like the most. Um, yeah, we have 23 units right now. So we still have 22 units. We have two Mighty Poros, yeah. I, I'm thinking the third one. I like the single combat. I don't want it to do that. Um, duelist for Wild Claw. I don't know. I already got two Wild Claws. What do y'all think of that third trade? Do y'all think third trade or skip? Right now, those votes are tied. You don't like any of the trades? The thing is, you know, I do have 23 units. Take Heart has looked really good. Where, like, turn three, we're, we're trying to, like, you know, protege, take heart, stuff like that. Yeah, you can stop the exhibition now, continue it tomorrow. Right, yep. Yeah, it's, yeah, you don't, you don't have to, yeah. The votes are pretty close. I think I want the this one. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Two and one. So that's our third take heart. We still have one mighty poro. We had two and two. Yeah, Wild Claw is really solid, but I do have two Wild Claws. Let me just send this all back. I'll keep the single combat.
All right, Protégé Take Heart's a good combo, especially with us having the turn three attack. Hey, what's up, Revwelki? We're on the hunt. That's right, we are expeditioning. Ow. All right, so we we traded three of their spells for two of my spells, but they also got to draw a card. So we're still so we're even up on cards. So I could frostbite that thing. It is good for me to have stuff die, because of they who endure. Why even try? I think I'll just bank the mana. Do I even want to frostbite that? No, I'll frostbite it. That's a good draw. The order rewards its faithful. I mean, not necessarily in the I can't play it this turn. Um sense. But in the it's a six mana eight seven Overwhelm sense. It's a good draw. No doubt you've heard of me. I mean, they have vengeance. This is really bad for me. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, even though, because we. Yeah, we do have take heart, but I still didn't block with the eight seven. Kind of because we have like the the standalone. Also, we have standalone and they who endure. So like, I I do want like my creatures to die, and so like it was just a good trade. Um Sorry. 
I will play my part. So they're going to be at 13. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Maybe I'm... It's possible I'm not. Certainly possible that I'm not. Another Shen had to be regular. Been here all my afterlife. The halls are bone with blades in hand. We burn. An imbalance. They cannot hide. Come to the light. It's me taking ten. This is my opponent. It's me taking nine. Okay. Doesn't kill me. Not yet. Well, standalone, you, you can only, you know, you have to have just the one creature out to play it. I couldn't just play it right then. I, I had to play it first before I played the other stuff. Oh, that's a great draw. It's not Battle Fury good, but pretty good. So that's seven damage trampling over, but they gain three, so four damage trampling over. Uh, then that's only two. So this doesn't. Oh, this this leaves me too short. Yeah, I'm actually too short. So actually, it looks like I'm gonna die. So I, 
I shouldn't have used that barrier life steal whenever I did on on this because I didn't I didn't gain life because they had the barrier. I, I forgot about that that I wasn't gonna gain life because of their barrier, and so I didn't gain life that turn. Um, that that's where I messed this game up. Yeah, I that that game was my fault. You know, another eight life or whatever would have been good. All right, I don't want to do the mighty poro trade again. Um, I I think I like the elixir of iron, honestly. Stockman wolf's not bad though. What about this trade? They who endure for Mina Swiftfoot. You play it. You recall three enemies. I can definitely win games on the spot. What do we think? Because they who endure, I'm not really... This isn't really even a 6-drop. It's really more like a 9-drop anyway. You know, you wait You wait for a while to play it. That last game, if I would have had Swiftfoot instead... Would not have really helped me win. They who endure was, was better than Swiftfoot would have been that last game. But people in chat are saying take Minna. Yeah, we're not really a they who endure deck. All right, we'll take Minna. Starlet's here. Hecarim Draven. Big bull. Alright, so they're going to be going with some ephemeral stuff. This is not going to be a good attack step for me. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I know the poor hawk. Hey, after wizard. Okay, so block, block. Block? Gosh. That's so much damage there. 12, 13, 14. This puts me down to 3. Or sorry, down, down to 6. Sorry. Taking 14. Yuck. Yeah, I mean, I, I got down to 6. 
then we keep these two things alive and that. The only way, like, I could do that and save three life. But then they'd still have this creature. It's probably, I guess it's worth the three life to get that creature off the battlefield. At least I'm going down to 12 now. Not 6, but they get to keep the 5-3. That's actually not so bad. I'm going to cast this Take Heart right now. Just to get, you know, give that top creature plus 1, plus 1. So it gets another plus 1, plus 1 before I potentially draw it. Okay. All right, Soul Shepherd out of here. That's good news. Ten two starlets here. Yeah, we're still at twelve. Like, so we're at a decently healthy life total. Ooh, six seven scar maiden reaver. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. I can, you know, so we can take out Hecarim. All right, so. Let's have you just trade with Hecarim. Then I take two Trample, go down to 10. And just block all this stuff. So I'm down to 10. Oh. I forgot that their creature couldn't block. Yeah, so I should have attacked. I've been I've been a little more focused on you know on like what I'm doing to block and everything. But yeah, no, y'all are right. I probably I should have had a I could have had a, a crack back with attacking with the other stuff because their their creature couldn't block whenever I had that last turn. Y'all are right. Y'all are right. Ouch. It's a good one to have in the back pocket. Okay. Barrier doesn't really stop that, so guess we'll let that happen. Barrier lifesteal sounds pretty nice, though. Gain five. Yeah, I could have the 6-7 block that, but then 
but then the five one the five one was still just gonna die or like whatever the other creep the ten two the ten two was gonna die any anyway. Sanjin Ryu. Um, pass. The party has a rat. Something's really, something's really weird here. Sorry. Um. Okay. Um Got something for him. So how do I want to do this? So we're going to assume that all these things are going to die so they're I'm going to take 4 damage because it's a prankster and this thing dying I'm going to take another 2 damage. So that's 6 damage total. So I need to stay within four. It's too late for you. This this attack puts me down to one. Or like this block puts me down to one. So I want to just have one creature left. Standalone. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna, all right, so I'll brittle steal that and block that. Do I wanna have this thing die and then I have standalone? Oh no, I was... Well then. This is gonna not let me have standalone available. So I... I don't know. I should maybe just let my 5 1 die, then I have 5 in the air. I probably played that pretty bad.
So if I would have just let the 5 1 die, I would have had lethal this, this past turn. Need to send a message real quick. All right, back in the back in the winning column. Oh man, we get another champion. All right, so we get yet another Trindamir and get another Blade Keeper and a Repost. Those are good options, especially Repost plus three with the barrier. That's pretty good. Zed gets us a Green Glade Duo and a Sown Seeds. I don't love the Sown Seeds. I do like Duo. Or Fiora gives us Hearth Guard, which I love Hearth Guard, and I really like Battle Fury. Um, man, I do really like Hearth Guard. So what do I have? I have I have one standalone and two take and three take hearts to pump up a Fiora. Um. Hmm. This is tough. What do y'all what do y'all think? What are y'all voting on? This is a tough one. Okay, so y'all are mostly voting for Fiora. I really like this Repost. And I like Blade Keeper too. I really like Blade Keeper and Repost. But we probably don't need a third Trindamir, right? Hey, I can leave you. Yeah, it's reset day. Yeah, so I already have I have one Battle Fury right now. All right, let's let's go with this one. We'll go with Fiora. Yeah, Fiora does have a good place in the deck. Wait, total wins three? I thought it was four and two. It said total wins three. Don't you get this this third champion after your fourth win? I'm confused. I'm very confused right now. Three wins is the fourth champ? Okay. So it must be three and two then. Uh, it's, I'll just switch it for the time being, Steve. I'm liking this game. Uh, enjoying this game more. Another Omen Hawk. Not a bad one to have.
order rewards its faithful. Night falls. Ooh. Zed getting that plus two, plus two. Maybe I want to go Zed. Hmm. Zed and then Blade Keep, uh, Blade Keeper the Zed. Well, it's kind of you know obviously I was planning on Blade Keepering the Shadow Assassin. Pretty big hearth guard. You have to get me out of here. Vile feast. Why are they doing that? So the I know I'm a little distracted. I'm sorry. It's I'm doing the I'm doing like the slow as I talked about yesterday. I'm doing a, a slow fantasy baseball draft, and it's it's like my pick right now. But there's like something going wrong with the draft room. Mm. So this is what we did like the first game. Like the first game, I protected Zed and didn't play other stuff, and and then I ended up being too slow. So I think I'm just going to let Zed go. And, you know, I could obviously I could play a nice Guardian right now, but getting Hearth Guard in play as early as possible. All right, so if I if I play Blade Keeper, I don't have Refuge up. They're probably not attacking into this though. Okay, never mind. This is our homeland. So nine mana. The halls are bone with blades in hand. Back up to 20. A true Felurian welcome. This is the good thing about having, you know, playing the hearth guard is now all of my creatures are just going to be bigger. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I, I'm glad three color isn't really a thing in Constructed because you would get some really powerful decks if you could spread spread cards out over three three colors. Um, and then and and that would make you know it just really up the power level and make it a lot harder to play a wide variety of decks. To be honest, so I'm actually I'm pretty glad that's not a thing. Uncle, it is good to see you. I wonder if I can get, I guess I could probably get everything. So they're at two, two mana. So I could probably get everything but my Shadow Assassin to die and then Battle Fury stand alone the Shadow Assassin and kill them. Prove yourself. This is my opponent. Does that sound crazy? So it doesn't really matter what I block this or this. I mean, I'm going all in. They'd be left with both of these wild claws, so like if they have an answer, I'm probably dead. Going all in. Okay, good. Go, 1611. All right. All in worked. All right, got, got our quest done. So yeah, we are four and two now. Okay, so I was just one ahead. Of something before. All right, trade duelist for standalone. Trade refuge for wild claw. Trade scout for repost. I think the trade that I like the most. I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like either the first or the last. I kind of like trading the scout for a repost. But then again, another standalone could be good because I think my my plan is kind of just like turn three, like don't play anything turn one or turn two. And then turn three, I play one of these three drops and then immediately standalone it. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Let's see. What are y'all saying? here okay what are y'all saying okay just actually split between the the standalone and the repost um like repost is pretty nice with our our big our big overwhelm creatures too giving them plus three plus zero and then you know the barrier keeping stuff alive but but then again it costs like that extra mana that four mana I'm going to I'm going to do the repost. I think I I like duelist more than silverwing scout also. I'm going to do the repost. Ooh, we got some rewards. Platinum chest. We're one away from the champion wild card. Let's see what we get with this platinum chest. All right, get a couple of commons. And, you know, three extra copies so some more shards. All right, extra copies of some more stuff. Some more shards. Ooh. Extra copy of a rare. A rare wild card. Um, but then a rare and a, an epic and an epic wild card. Nice. Got those upgrades. So each, each spot in a chest can get upgraded. And then we also get another 500 shards. Got a whole lot of shards with that, which is good. All right, well, I made my pick, so not distracted anymore. Sorry about that, me being a little distracted there that last game. We're good to go. So there's Zed and Braum. All right, so we're going to go turn three Shadow Assassin and then standalone it, make a 5-5. Five, five. And then turn four, we'll have the Riposte to protect it. Oh, it was upgraded to a Diamond Chest? I always miss that when the chests get upgraded. They do that so fast that I miss it. I thought that was a lot. I thought that looked like a, a Diamond Chest. Because, you know, I opened up the Diamond Chest for the uh, Vault today. Got Zed out here. I will play my part. It's not a good play to do this grant an ally plus three plus three against. Um, against Will of Ionia. Because they are the Will of Ionia colors. I am the blade in the darkness. Okay, so we got eight mana. You cannot escape. So I still have repost back up.
crowded path. I walk your path alone. Take Wrong. I guess I'm not attacking with Zed now because of Braum. No, I'll just kill Braum with this. Because Braum does zero damage, so I still have the barrier. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good call. Just single single combat the Braum. Ooh, let me flip Zed. So that was turn six. So my next turn may not be very good. Toro snack. Pup's just loving the new carpet in here. Shield up. I am a true master. Hey, Boo. It's too late for you. Sweet. All right, five and two. Defeated the Poros. For the honor of my house. All right, long ways away from getting this champion wild card, but. All right, so uh, another trade. We can trade and treat for Radiant Guardian. I like that trade. Brittle Steel for Shadow Assassin. I like the Brittle Steel. Protector for Protege. That's also a pretty good trade. Um, Protege works pretty well with our deck. But I like I like getting rid of the Entreat. I don't really want Entreat. And Radiant Guardian is awesome. I'm going to do this top trade. <clears throat> How's your day going, Boot? Mine's going good. I, I really like our expedition deck here. I think this expedition deck's really powerful. Okay, hopefully a good but hopefully good busy. And work and then yeah, time to put on the comfy pants. Very nice. Oh, so our opponent has the brand new the brand new Jinx board and the new minion. Like the new, you know, mascot. I think they call them minions. I'm on it. Wow, did you see that? Texas is working out great. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm getting you know more and more done around the house every day, and uh, it's really, it's really working out well. I, I I'm loving it here. Oh, 
Let mushrooms could pop. Dude, I know. I, I man, dude, I can't, I can't wait for you to see the house and everything. I can't, I can't wait. All right, shuffle four copies of that thing. Uh, I guess pass. We're just gonna be banking up mana here. No, they, I guess they want to shuffle four copies of that two one. All right, someone must have drawn, drove by. <laughs> they don't like whoever drove by. Okay, that sounds good, Boot. I just feel like this isn't really worth the Spirit's Refuge for that thing. I feel like I should save it for something better. I wish I had one more mana and I could have the refuge up with this. Stay out of my way. <clears throat> Safety first. It's not a good block. That's a better block. Because the Reaver has Overwhelm, so it has Trample, so they would have only just saved one life by making that block, and then uh, it does have Regeneration, so fully heals. Oh, they're going to put a whole bunch of Troop of Elnux in their deck? Dude, that's a sweet combo. Okay, that's a pretty sweet combo. Show me a target. Run away, bike. Fly away while you can. Aren't you? Ah, an auspicious season. <clears throat> this reaver is going to do a lot, a lot of damage for me. So now they just they just shuffled a bunch of troop of Elnux in their deck. We'll take what we want. Ticket friendly thirteen ten. Reaver. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. No. Oh, that is awful. It gets. Oh man, that is awful. Wow, that is really bad. That's a blowout. Good thing my, my whole deck, or like my whole hand is just awesome cards, but that was a blowout. Yeah, a huge blowout there. It's basically vengeance, you know. 
basically just vengeance. It's not broken, just needs a little love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so they did not get the allegiance bonus. Um, by playing Trindamir right now, I don't get to standalone. Like I could have standalone first and turned this into a nine nine, but there's not really any difference between this being a six six and a nine nine. They're going to be chumping it no matter what. It doesn't have overwhelm, so I'll just keep the standalone in hand. have an illegal contraption even though I think it's pretty illegal if you ask me yeah there's yep there's an update today that had the animations are faster playing cards a little faster so yeah the game's a little faster it, it kind of threw me off the first game I to get used to it. Get this way. Look out for reapers. He's barking at something. Break their spirit and their spirit. So now all these creatures are now damaged, so I could take heart any of them. I just don't don't have to right now. But we have that available, you know, keep the three the three bonus mana. What does Trindomir learn turn into? A battle fury? A new era begins. Oh uh, no, it's a it's a car because I could hear it. It's a car driving by. That's what Harvey's barking at is the car driving by. Snow, wind, and ice. But I can hear it too. It's a like a bigger truck. Could be like a delivery truck or something like that. All right, deal two damage to all enemies. That's a lot of damage. Let's pump that thing up. Block here. Just do that for now. Twenty-two trample right now. I just hope they don't have another harsh winds. I will endure. So 
So this is 16. This would put them down to 1. I'm down to 2. So, like, the onus is on me to act first to have it be lethal. That's not a good block. Ugh, they do have harsh winds. All right, well. Yeah, this is uh, drops of Jupiter by train. So how how Trindamir has this plus one plus one from the Starlet Seer and the Take Heart? Whenever Trindamir dies. Which means level up. Whenever Trindamir levels up, does it still have the plus four, plus four? Okay, yeah. It does. So it'll be a Killing Anivia doesn't really matter. We'll kill this thing. You can kill that thing. I will end this here. Transform. Hope burns on. I'm sorry. They gotta have another harsh winds, they gotta have a third one. Or they're dead. Of course the last two turns they, they were dead without harsh winds. So nothing new now. Still dead without harsh winds. Brittle steel. Fortunately, that's burst speed. I couldn't respond by giving it plus, uh, like the plus toughness. So this is them taking eight, staying alive. Uh, let's give it. Let's see. So they go down to three. So yeah, this works here. I uh, might as well do it to this thing. Opponent's probably not too happy about all these Battle Furies. <laughs> we played three Battle Furies on this thing. No, I guess we played two. Plus 16, plus 8. All right. We're on to the final boss. We're 6 and 2. This has been a good long expedition. All right, last. All right, so we get five trades before going on to the final boss. We can trade Mighty Poro for Avarosen Outriders. 
I don't think I really like that trade, honestly. I mean, so they're both 3-3 Overwhelms, but we're spending an, an additional mana um, to get the Allegiance part. Grant the top unit of your deck, plus 3, plus 3, and Overwhelm. Maybe. I don't want to get rid of Harsh Winds. Get rid of Standalone for another Take Heart. I don't really want to do that either. We have three Take Hearts already and one Standalone. I think this is probably a skip, but I guess I could see maybe doing the first one. But probably a skip. I think I think Mighty Poro um, is there. Why do we go? The th yeah, the yeah. Basically, the cards are too good. There was just like we started with Frel Yord and Ionia, and as you can tell, we didn't really get more Ionia cards. But there was one pile that was just like the first two were just so bad, and then the third one was a Demacia one with like with a, a single combat and a Radiant Guardian. And it's like, well, single combat and Radiant Guardian are both good cards. Um, and like the other two were just terrible cards. And so we just, um, we didn't do it. We do have a lot of three drops, but that's kind of by design. Cause like our deck, like we don't do anything turn one, turn two, but then turn three, you know, we can play like our three drops and then start, uh, buffing them up. You know, then we have like standalone and take hearts and stuff like that, where we can buff them up and then play blade keeper. It actually, so it works pretty well having the three drops. Um, so that's, that's kind of another reason to have mighty Poro instead of, the Outrider. Outrider would hit about 50% of the time. So like 50% of the time, this is just an overcosted Mighty Poro. The other 50% of the time it hits and then the, the top unit gets the plus three, plus three and Overwhelm, which which is very powerful. You know, plus three, plus three Overwhelm is, that's a lot. So that is really good. Let's see what y'all are saying. Skip the trade or the top one. With the votes. Oh, it looks like people aren't really doing the voting. Um, um, I think I'm just going to skip. I think I'm just going to keep the Poro. Okay. Uh... So obviously we're not doing the first one, of course. Like that's not even that's not even considerable. Uh, single combat back to back. That's that's pretty close. I've been happy with the single combat as like a cheaper trick because we do have a high curve. So I I've been happy with the single combat. But elixir of iron or judgment, like judgment can just win games. Elixir of iron has been okay, but I mean, judgment just wins games. Back to back kind of wins games too, though. So yeah, I think so. Just take the judgment gives us another eight eight mana card, but it's such a good eight mana card. All right, we'll just we'll take it. Does mean that we can get completely blown out by like a bounce spell or something though. But yeah, judgment's basically just plague wind. All right, now I can just retrade the judgment for another battle fury for a third battle fury. Trade a Wild Claw away? No. Trade Duelist for Icy Yeti? Probably not either. Probably want to just keep the Duelist. I think I'm just going to keep all these. Skip this trade. Hey, Toasted. And yeah, now we have the Fiora Judgment uh, combo. That is true. <clears throat> so Reaver's been pretty good, but we could trade it for Jewel Protector, which I actually kind of want to do. I, I think I like Jewel Protector more overall. You know, so like... Uh, it's either you get an extra toughness and overwhelm and regeneration or grant an ally in hand plus three plus three. I like the grant an ally in hand plus three plus three. That curves so well with Alpha Wild Claw. I don't know. It's a, that's a lot of stats. Um... I don't know. All these are, are pretty... These are all really close trades, honestly. I could see doing all of these or none of these. Um, this is a tough one. So Bull Elnuk is just your 4-5. Blade Keeper is also 4-5 worth of stats, but you get to place two of it on another creature, which can be useful. 
And then Starlet, like our, our deck isn't really a Starlet Seer deck, or what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of times we've been wanting to just not do anything turn one or turn two and set up our turn three. And so I could definitely see getting rid of Starlet Seer, even though it's it's been okay. Like the Seer's been, been just fine. Hearthguard, y'all know I really like Hearthguard. But we do have a lot of fives already. So I could see not doing that also. I could see trading all of these, and I could also see not trading any of these. I think the one I'm the most likely to do is the Reaver for Jeweled Protector. No, I'm going to skip. I'm going to just keep one of each. All right. Ah, that's... Whoa. Trade Jewel Protector and get a Bright Steel Formation? <sighs> Talk about a game-ending card, but it's just another 9-drop. <laughs> Look at all, we have so many 8s and 9s. We have uh, 5 8 mana cards and already a 9 mana card. I don't, I don't think we can just take another 9 mana card, honestly. I, I think I'm just going to skip this trade also. We're just skipping all these trades. I want the Brittle Steel. I want the Refuge. Yeah, Bright Steel Formation is is pretty auto win, but we already have a bunch of auto win cards. We have Trindamir's auto win. Battle Fury is you know close to that. Judgment's auto win. Swiftfoot is a bomb. All right, final boss time. Here we go. We only get one chance to get the seventh win. If we lose, we only get 1,500 shards. If we win, we get 3,000 shards. Big time game here for Lasso Shards. Okay. So they're going to be a very aggressive deck. Definitely putting those back. I would probably normally put Radiant Guardian back, but if they're a really aggressive deck, maybe right Radiant Guardian, you know, with the life steal and everything, could just help us stabilize. So I'll, I'll keep Radiant Guardian. <laughs> you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. <laughs> Reporting in. Uh, rear guard. They're on the. They're on the... They get to attack first also. Playing Omen Hawk means that I don't get to play Fiora with protection on turn 3. If we can stay alive, huh? Kind of regret that attack. If we can stay alive to like turn five, start dropping these radiant guardians. Oh man, I really, really regret that block. Really, am regretting that block. I can't block the, the two ones because of Spinning Axe. Like the Draven was really nice. Just a great curve by them. One drop, double one drop Draven. It doesn't get better than that.
Yeah, it's a real strong aggro deck. Oh my gosh, then a crowd favorite. Are you kidding me? What is this? Wow. So I can't even just like block and trade and then play the Radiant Guardian because I'm dead. Wow, what a hand. I guess I'm going to have to harsh winds here. I don't know how to get these Radiant Guardians out now. Is this supposed to be a challenge? <laughs> oh man, this this game has been sickening. All right, well, back to back to our normal playlist. All right, so we got six wins on the first one. Disappointing seventh game, man. Yeah, that was that was like I don't think you can do better than that. Just what like that's that hand's incredible. What one, one drop and then double one drop on turn two, then Draven on three, and then um, and then the four drop overwhelm. You know, huge overwhelm creature, untap, four drop, huge overwhelm creature. <laughs> That's unreal. Um, the block turn, yeah, the block turn one was really bad. Uh, yeah, that block turn one was really bad by me. Definitely hurt. Oh, well, there we go. There's first expedition. So we only got to six wins, didn't get that seven win mark. So that means we're going to have to try again with trial number two, try to get that seven win up next. So um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know how you're doing the expeditions. And, you know, hopefully this this one helped. I think that we we really did a good job talking through our cards. I think, I think our deck was really good. Um, I think our... Uh, yeah, like I, I think our deck was really good, and I think we did a, a good job of, a you know, better job of drafting than I did uh, last week. We're learning. But, uh, there we go. So that's that's trial number one. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.